So Dan, right now what are you doing? Showing up my new space, man. Just trying to kind of figure things out. Unit mm -hmm. 1003. Can't give yes. you the name yet though. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a secret. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, man, I got Benny here. The art, art director. Art director. So Dan is basically a family friend of ours. Very, very long time. And he's opening up Cairo Clinic. It's pretty nice in here, yeah. Trying to make the we're trying to So I guess this is the entrance to his Cairo Clinic, Cairo E. Benny, what are you doing? What are you doing right now? Taking photos to, for the PDF. For his what? For his PDF to just oh. show directions on how to get to his office. Oh wow. It is coming along. Holy shit. Was it so much more fast? Okay, so we're entering. Oh my goodness. Welcome. 103. Welcome, welcome. Wow, this is so the greatest to be each of these rooms. Our power room. We got all the trap lighting in too, huh? Oh, and you need Yeah, this is crazy, bro. Yo, 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 check this out, bro. Check this out. Wow, like you're trying to. I do got late view, but you gotta look really far, bro. You gotta look really far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't see a little bit of Damn, man. This is nice, man. Congrats, man. Wow, look at that. Still in the process. That's amazing. Great to see. Damn, this is giving me a really nice space, man. Okay. This is going to be a really nice clinic. As a lot of you guys know, I am a Lululemon brand ambassador and they have uh, sent me some gear that I kind of picked out over the weekend and I'm excited because it's like uh, some shorts, a shirt, um, it's like summer ready, you know, good weather ready. Um, so I'm gonna just open it up. So basically, these are the first pants. They're the license to strain shorts they're about seven inches there's no liner inside i really like the quality and, and and the product of these like just clean i like the the cut of these um at the side they got these pockets they also have this it's like i guess you can put your your towel uh, if you're running or something you also got a zip in the back you know that new lemon whoo that's clean 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 okay so that's product number one let me just try to get to product number two. Okay, okay so these I was kind of excited for. Uh, these are more not like training pants, but they're more like casual pants. So to go out and stuff like that. Um, but these are awesome as well. Um, so with these ones, they're pink. I wouldn't say pink, but like a, a darker pink color. What would you describe this color? I wouldn't even know. But these are good. These are called the um, bowline shorts. And basically, with these shorts, they have some big, these big pockets, like khakis almost. Um, they got a zipper in the back too. Pretty sure they got the Lululemon Lemon uh, logo somewhere. Oh no, but they don't have an an external logo. Oh, I guess right here, right there. Um, with these, I'll probably wear like an oversized white shirt and like some nice clean shoes. Um, last one. See what this is. Hey, and I got uh, basically a bucket hat that I always wanted. Um, that's what it is. Right now, I'm about to head into a meeting with my realtor. Once again, I'm gonna show you guys who my realtor is once we get inside, kind of introduce you to him a little bit. He's a real one. And uh, right now, 
Uh, we're just focusing on figuring out another investment property um, somewhere in, in Scarborough, maybe a little bit out to the east. And once again, the focus is cash flow. So trying to find a property where I can rent out top bottom. So monthly, I can make some cash flow to pay off other bills or m mortgages of you know, our current house or, or, or the other townhouse. So um, that's the game. And, and I think it's very important to, to, to challenge your mind, your, your, your experiences of how to invest because it's scary, yes, um, everyone thinks investing is risky. Correct, hundred percent. But anything you do, there is it's something's got to give. Whether it's time, money, effort, whatever it is. If you're gonna study for exam, you got to give up some time to study, to memorize all this, to do an exam. You know, if you want to purchase a house, you gotta you know put down money to you know. So um, investment is is it is tricky. It is risky. But I, I want to kind of. Um, make people understand take that risk away from the equation sometimes because like i think i'm so immune to taking risks now because like i've done that when i was younger when you know i dropped out of school um parents didn't want me to but but i'm like F it, i'm gonna do it you know i'm gonna focus on myself and i took a risk to like just literally focus on myself and what i wanted to do and within those two years that i i i, I dropped out of university you know got out relationships that were not you know positive or fr or friends or circles that were not positive i cleared that out of my life in a sense i was kind of selfish because i need to learn how to grow and, and improve on myself and, and growth is investment in yourself so during those times it was like all right cool now you can, i can step out and see okay yo i I subtracted all these things in my in my past life and look at where I'm at now, you know, which is like, damn, you build so much confidence and belief with who you are now. So it's like, okay, cool. What's the next, you know, focus or goal? So my objective back in the days was I'm gonna open a gym, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna open a gym by 30 years old, you know. And for 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 a long time, I just committed to my goals, and I got a gym at 24. And it's like now looking back, it's like. I'm happy I took those risks. I'm happy I did all these things because now I can reap the rewards and feel more confident, I have more belief in me to now execute something else. And when that happened was like, yo, open a clothing line, you know, did all that stuff all around the city, you know, sold about like 4,000 plus products, like units, like t-shirts, hoodies, you know, in, in like two years. And then after, boom, open the gym, right? And then after now, it's like, all right, what's the next goal or challenge or investment? Is like, all right, cool, let's, let's go get, in, get into the housing market. So a lot of these times, it's like, do your research, obviously, one. Uh, make sure that you're confident enough or you have some support um, to invest or, or take a risk. So meaning support as in whether it's money and capital that you have that you're ready to invest or having a support system like friends and families that really say, yo, you can do this. All right, we're going to support you. You know, so it's very important to like as you grow, understand the people you keep your, your uh, yourself around. The, um, so, you know, your environment, your circle. Um, as you grow financially, you got to make better decisions, you know, um, and as you grow, yeah, just grow. All right, what's up? So I'm in my meeting. I am here with my realtor, May the Run. Um, and right now we're having a meeting. So we're gonna go through some investment properties and he's gonna help me analyze uh, things, things to look out for, why certain places are good investments or why certain places are bad investments. And uh, Midran is a, a guy that's very passionate about helping you in the housing market. So I really trust him, so. Uh, this meeting is going to start just now. Perfect. So now I'm back at the gym. I uh, just left that meeting. Um, I'm just going to get my workout in, but the meeting was very informative. It gave me a different perspective of how to look at things when looking into the housing market and investing. So. That was a great meeting. I, I, I enjoy meetings, to be honest, because it's fun, it's cool. It, you get to be creative, you get to think outside the box. Um, and so meetings with me, man, you know you're always gonna have a great meeting. <laughs> Thanks for watching that vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time.